Welcome to the Greyhound News Network. This is Pope TV. And please stand for the Pledge of the Flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. And now for a moment of silence. Good morning, Pope High School. Welcome to the Greyhound News Network. I'm Taylor. And I'm Kyla. This is Pope TV. The Transition Academy Coffee Shop is now open every Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday from 7.45 to 8.20. It will be located in the Transition Academy kitchen on the Forage Hall. Mmm, great coffee. Attention juniors, parking information for next year is available on the Pope website. And now to the boys with the sports. Holla, we the boys. We're the PSPN boys with the sports. Congratulations to the baseball team and their 9-2 beatdown over Dalton in the deciding Game 3 of the quarterfinal series. Jared Miller got things going for the Hounds with a two-run home run in the third. Miller and the boys never stopped. He ended the night with five RBIs. Max Prago was stellar on the mound for getting the win for Pope. Get prepared for the state semifinals tomorrow after school here at Jeff Rowland Field. The Hounds are hosting River Ridge in a doubleheader beginning at 4.30. This needs to be a huge student crowd. Let the fun and party domination begin. So I hear um, going to the baseball game, first 125 people getting for free at the game. Are you going to be one of the 125 that get for free? No doubt. Um, I set up camp outside the gates um, around Mon uh, 8 o'clock Monday night. So I've been waiting for a couple days now. I'm going to be the first one there for sure. And I know you've been riding this roller coasters from the beginning. Mm. You've been to like every single game. What are you seeing out of them? Yeah, not only games. I've also been to the practices. Um, the team meetings. I, I, I've seen I've seen the kids develop all through the season, and uh, this is their time. I, I really believe it. They they have what it takes to win a championship, and um, not only on the field are they performing, but off the field, they are equipped with uh, the winning mentality that it takes, and um, they're clicking. I'm sorry. Congratulations to the lacrosse program for an incredible season. Both boys and girls finished in the elite eight round of the state playoffs. Great job. What a ride. Pope Nation is proud of you. Congratulations to the track and field team on an outstanding showing at the state track meet last weekend. The girls 4x1 were simply incredible as they once again set another school record. Hope Glenn, Maggie Hudson, Denise Issa, and Brooke Mizell won the state championship. But it didn't stop there. Hope Glenn went on an overdrive as she won the state 100 and 200. Yes, three state championships. What a feat. Denise Issa was also second in triple jump with a new school record over two feet beyond her previous best. Kyle Rowe placed second in the pole vault, and Peter Dutois also had a big day, placed in fourth in the 800 and 1600. Overall, the boys placed tenth, and the girls finished fourth. Incredible season, track. The girls' golf team continues to tune up for victory at the state championship. Lizzie Reedy and the Brindley girls and Alicia will lead the charge for the ladies' golf championship. The girls will play for the title on May 22nd and May 23rd in Gainesville. Go get the green jacket, ladies. Mm. This has been the PSPN Boys with the Sports. Back to you. Thank Th you, boys. <laughs> Attention seniors, this is just a reminder. We are still in school. There are mandatory graduation practices on Monday, May 22nd and Tuesday, May 23rd, both at 1 o'clock in the Pope Gym. All textbook returns will take place on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday from 7.30 to 8.15, during all lunch periods and after school from 3.30 to 4.
slippery. Thank you for watching Greyhound News Network. Have a great day.